Now you see, this match should have been the main event. Not Randy Orton and Drew McIntyre. Let's just get in this in, in this show. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Welcome to I guess the uncensored kid. Like I I don't know. But um uh okay. So when I watch this um pay per view at my cousin's house at my big uh my uh, big cousin's house he's older than me at his girlfriend's house I got in on the Roman Reigns match and like we got in the closing moments of the match and we I seen that um Jay and I I seen the closing moments of the of the Roman Reigns match so I didn't see the whole match but like I went back and saw that match and then I end up uh watching J D from Iwa. Shout out to him too, but um, uh yeah. So I watched the match. It was actually cool. We we get um Roman Re um Jay took some devastating spears from Roman Reigns. Like oh my god, man, he took an ass whooping. That's all I'm gonna say. He took an ass whooping from uh Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns. Uh, the closing moments, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just, I'm not gonna review, I'm not gonna, uh, say the whole show, I'm not gonna, uh, review the whole match, so, like, the closing moments was when the referee, I mean, not the referee, when Roman grabbed the steps, right, J and then Jimmy got into the ring, and he ended up stopping Roman Reigns, and he ended up talking to him, and then we see Roman Reigns break down crying in the ring, and there was this um, emotional moment. And I didn't tear up or anything, but I, I assume that a lot of people teared up doing that. Because, like, it was, like, emotional. And then we seen, uh, and then we seen, uh, Roman Reigns lock, uh, Jimmy into that, uh, that little lock that he, that he do now. And then he end up, and then, uh, Jay end up waking up. Because, like, he's weak, he can't do anything. And then he's, Roman Reigns, um, Jay is trying to get him off him, but, and then he says he quit just to save his brother. And that was some beautiful storytelling. And then we seen, uh, Jay's, um, father and stuff get on the, uh, J uh, the basically wild Samoans, I guess. We see some of his Samoan family get on, like, we see two of his, uh, his uh family members get on the ring. I mean, get on the uh, the entrance ramp, and they're like just aside with Roman Reigns. And then we see Roman, we see uh Jay and Jimmy just like just like distraught, like they're heartbroken and all that stuff. And that's how we end off that match. So good match overall. That was a good. It was a good match overall. I loved it. One of the best. That should have been the main event. Uh, uh, Bailey versus uh Sasha should have been the main event. Any of these matches should have been the main event. Drew versus Randy Orton didn't deserve the main event. That's all I'm about to say. And we go on to the most least, my least favorite match of the uh night, the worst match of the night. Jeff Hardy versus Elias. And Elias is a heel now. Jesus Christ, man! Like he turned heel like. He turned heel in 2018. I mean, he turned face in 2018. Then he went back to a heel in 2019. Then he do. Then he uh. Then he started being a, a face again. And uh. To the and, and 2020. So he in 2000. I think I guess 2019. I guess. And then. I guess uh, the early 2020, and then he ended up turning the hill again when he came back. That's crazy. But um, the closing moments of the match, we seen uh, Elias go for a uh, a um a, a guitar, his guitar, and then uh, Jeff Hardy counters, and he hit him with a, a guitar, and then it that caused a disqualification to towards Elias, and Elias ended up picking up the victory. And I just, and I just, uh, said, um, I, I would just look, I was just looking like this. I, I would just look, I, I didn't have any emotion in my face. Like, I honestly didn't have any emotion in my face. 
So I guess we have the Sasha Banks. No, 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 no. I think it was the the Miz versus Otis match for the for the um Money in the Bank uh for um uh, for the Money in the Bank contract. Okay, so the Miz, well, Otis was beating the crap out of Miz, and then with well, Otis was beating the crap out of Miz, and then we did see Miz get a little offense and. Then we seen John Morrison try to hit him with a hit Otis with a briefcase, and then he ended up getting uh tossed out. And then uh Otis grabbed Miz like by his, his like say like his uh foot, and then Otis end up uh well Miz end up uh like kind of like you know the apron he end up uh pulling up off the apron like the uh, Helena Sawyer apron, and then he end up pushing uh Otis. Into the uh into the ropes and Tucker turns heel. Tucker turns heel. Tucker and I died. I died laughing when when he did that. Cause I I see I I didn't even see it coming. I didn't even see it coming. So I guess we're gonna do oldest versus oh uh, and oldest versus Tucker feud. And I am looking forward to that. Like, I might, like, I, that's, yeah, I, I'm definitely looking forward to that. What I'm not looking forward to is Mitch casting in and beating Randy Orton for the WWE Championship. I mean, no, beating, uh, <laughs> matter of fact, I'm about to just say it, beating Randy Orton for the WWE Championship. Um, no, I don't, do not want that to happen. Miz... Could have been champion in 2019. He could have been champion in 2020 if the, if he was booked right. I was I was always a big fan of the Miz, but I don't think he should get the championship right now. But then we seen uh Otis. We seen um what's come. We see um Tucker backstage doing an interview. He said the reason why he uh, attacked Otis was because he um was because. He was kind of like the star. He was kind of like the star. Oh, and Otis, um, um, Otis was like the star, and he was kind of like the backbone, and he didn't like that. And he didn't like that. So, Otis, and so we seen uh, Otis and Tucker brawling back, backstage, and then we got Sasha Banks versus Bailey. And Sasha versus Bailey was a fantastic match. Was a fantastic match. Now, what I thought it was going to do was have Bailey, have Bailey like literally go after her neck in the match because that's that's how like basically um because like Bailey went after her neck like when she attacked her and all that stuff, and then I and then I thought we were going to have like uh um like E and teams EMTs come out there trying to pick up. Pick uh, up Bailey. I mean, trying to pick up uh, Sasha Banks, trying to get her uh, trying to and then have her have um, Bailey try to get her out of the stretcher and uh, hit her with a and put her head through the uh, do the chair and uh, do that move, do that new move she do, and then she and Bailey was gonna be. I mean, and Sasha Banks was gonna be out for the whole WrestleMania, um, the whole uh, season, um, the whole year, and then I we was want to see. Sasha Banks versus Bailey at WrestleMania, and Sasha Banks was going to win over Rumble. So yeah, that didn't happen. Sasha Banks wins, and that shocked me. And now I'm going to mention two brutal spots during that match: a belly to belly, um, and Bailey. One, Bailey did did a belly to belly on the chair. And Sasha did a belly to belly on the ladder, and that and um then the closing moments was when um Sasha Banks got into the bank bank statement, uh, the bank statement, and she put the um chair around her neck and she was like kind of like 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 hitting it so it can like t- uh, so it can like keep hitting it on her neck and then she end up and Bailey end up tapping out. And Sasha is your new women's champion. Now, I would love to see Bianca Belair versus Sasha Banks at WrestleMania. Have Sasha Banks win the have Bianca Belair win the Rumble, and then we get Sasha Banks versus Bailey at WrestleMania. I would love it. 
But you know that, you know, they're not going to do that. They're not going to do that. Oh, they're going to do it. They're probably going to do it. I would say before WrestleMania. I'm going to say before WrestleMania, and then we want, we're going to get Bailey win the Royal WrestleMania. I mean, win the Royal Rumble, and then she go to WrestleMania to fight Sasha Banks. And that's stupid, but okay. Um, Going into the next match, we got... Bobby Lashley versus Slap, not what um Slap Slapjack um and the match uh ends when when uh Bobby Lashley locks in the four Nelson on Slapjack and Retribution runs in and then we get a get a bra and then and um Retro when uh the rest of uh of the hurt business run out there. They run like they run like some uh they literally run like some bitches. And we see we see uh Mustafa Ali in the ring alone and then he gets out of there too. And then we see Mustafa Ali staring at the uh at the US championship while he's in the crowd while he's in the crowd. Quote unquote the crowd. And then we get the main event. Jesus Christ, man. We got Randy Orton, and I honestly predicted this. Randy Orton was going to win. And I said, if if they was going to have Sasha Banks versus Bailey, I said that Bailey was going to win, and we was going to get Randy Orton to beat, um, t- to beat, uh, I mean, we was going to get Randy Orton to beat Drew. That's, that was my attention, intention, intentions, because, like, I thought that, would, that was going to happen, since, um, since uh Bailey is Sasha was gonna get the main event. Excuse me. Sasha and Bailey wasn't gonna get the main event. So Sa- so Randy So Randy attacks Drew before the match and then they fight in the ring and stuff and blah blah blah. We get uh and we have um Randy Orton with uh the uh little like box cutter. Not the box cutter, but like, you know, like, the thing where you say, like, when you cut, try to cut something, it's like, I don't know, it's like a big, uh, thing, and, like, he cut his way out of the hell in a cell, and then they end up fighting, and then they end up going through the Wisconsin, and I seen they got foot supporters in the hell in a cell, great, great, and they went out, they went up to the hell in a cell, they brawled and stuff, and then they went back down, and then we seen, uh, Randy Orton push, um, I mean, well, basically knocks uh Drew off the uh hell in a cell, and then he ended up plundering down. Um, off the table. How many times have we seen this spot in the match? We seen it twenty in twenty eighteen hell in a cell, when Seth, when Seth, when uh remember when um yeah we seen it so many times. We seen it when like like Roman when Roman Reigns and the Roman Reigns and uh when um Drew when Drew and Dolph Ziggler was trying to interfere and then we seen Seth and uh Dan come out and then all of them went through the freaking table when when all of them was trying to brawl on top of the uh, so and then all of them end up coming down and they end up both and all I think all four of them end up falling through a table. So, um, Seth Rollins versus Dean Ambrose and Helena so twenty uh I think I guess twenty fourteen, both of them end up so falling through the Helena so, I mean falling off the Helena so onto the table and then they end up getting tossed out of the stretch and end up getting 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 put on a stretcher, so boom. But okay, um, we seen Drew crawl and like he was still standing with blood coming out his um uh, spewing out of his mouth, and then. Drew out of nowhere hits a claymore, never hits the um, never gets the um cover, and then me and then uh, Drew goes after, hits another another uh, try to hits another claymore. Drew um, Randy ducks and he hits an RKO. One, two, three. Randy Orton is your new WWE champion.
and they're gonna do something. They're gonna do Edge versus Randy Orton at WrestleMania. I am counting on it. I'm counting on it. Edge. I honestly think that Edge should be champion again. A YouTube. I watched a YouTuber like a couple of days ago. Um. I watched a YouTuber a couple of days ago watching his review of Hell in a Cell. And he said he doesn't want Edge as champion anymore. Oh, uh, as champion. Look, they don't have no ratings. They don't have any of that. They don't have no ratings. They don't they don't have no ratings. So I guess they need to bring back Edge to bring that spark back and have Edge win the championship at WrestleMania. Boom. Have uh Ron, uh rock fight um have rock fight uh Roman, boom. Like it's like, look, this is how I would have booked WrestleMania. Okay, Randy Orton versus Edge, fine. Um, Ra Roman versus The Rock, Roman versus The Rock. Matter of fact, no, no. Matter of fact, I will do a fantasy booking video about. WrestleMania 37. WrestleMania 37. I'm going to wait to do that video. So, hope y'all guys like this video, like this review, and all that stuff. Be sure to like the video, subscribe, turn on notifications. Um, and you can be the first, so you can be the first, one of the first uh, people to uh, catch all my content. So, subscribe, blah, 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 and I'll catch y'all later.